formula. There's nothing, there's no trick you're going to play that's going to get the board members, oh, well, you know, you wrote it in red. It's, you know, <laughs> there's, there's, yeah, there's, 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 there's no technique. And uh, on the, as a director, once you really get in the game, it's not that different than your life will be writing treatments of rejection. You know what I mean? Whether you're doing it for Video Factor or you're doing it for a record label, there's going to be somebody who's going to read what you wrote and say yeah or nay. So, you know, it just gets into the into the flow of things. The the challenge for an artist is really up to them is after much fact, if they do say no, what are you going to do? You're lucky to live in a world where you can actually still make a video. It's a very different time. Back in the day when we were shooting on film, much fact said no. That was pretty much the end of the conversation. Like, no one was playing. It took a lot to get the film and the camera and the people and the light and the thing, and, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a really fortunate time that with some creativity, you can go out there and make some make something pop. But, uh, you know, if you're if you're doing the waiting game like this, you come on, man, you're the artist again. I think also the important thing to consider as an artist is it's uh, some of the parts. So if you're lesser known, for instance, or just in the fledgling or embryonic stage of your career, and you're trying to get out there and uh, have an impact on us beyond the quality of your song, which is absolutely, I agree, that it's the most important thing. Uh, other things about you and what your plans are in terms of around that song, should you, should we actually fund you, we have to have a little bit of an insight as to what you'll do with this Grant, and that's the key word right there. It's a grant. It's not a loan. It's a gift, <laughs> quite honestly, right? So if we feel that there's a little uncertainty or a great amount of uncertainty as to what you will do with this offering that, that we so graciously provide, right? It, it, that's going to be a question for us as well. You know, our former chairman, uh, Bernie Fickelstein, used to joke around and say, um, like, he just say something like, this artist was on the front cover of Now Magazine, like just as a sort of a little inside joke thing we had, because there was no real evidence or any foundational information as to where this artist is gonna project, how they project themselves as, in terms of using this, this prize. And that's so important. Don't just think that a video is the end all be all, because we all know it's not. Right? We need, you need other elements in there that are going to add up to what this story is that you're trying to tell. And that, that, that's the fact. And that's something that we're refining. Uh, we're in the process right now of refining, and we've talked to a lot of people on the panel here about this, is uh, right now when you apply, we need to hear a song, uh, a production budget, a treatment. Um, a photo would be nice. A, no, it's mandatory. Uh, a photo or more, press materials. Uh, one thing we've never asked for, we're going to start to ask for, is what's your marketing plan? What is your plan? If we're going to invest $20,000, 25, sure, you would prefer, uh, $1,000 in a video, what are you going to do to make it a success? Who's your manager? Uh, that's actually in the application. What's the plan? Because we, you know, we want to see that money be put to good use. We want you to succeed. We want the Carly Rae Jepsons. By the way, that wasn't just a sync track, like we did find that video. We funded every single thing that you heard and saw in that, in that reel, including the Celine Dion video and Bruce Cohen. Uh, it's a long heritage. But we want that marketing. We're going to start demanding that marketing plan, and we want to know what you're going to do, uh, you know, where it is in the life of the thing. The other thing we're going to start to look at, and this will be announced in, in, as we refine it and figure it out the details in, in months to come, is the life of the project. You know, where, where does this fit? Uh, in, in, in like, is there three singles on this on this record? Is this just a one-off? It's a really cool track. We don't know what's going to happen. Is it? Where do you fit in the? And again, that sort of flows out of the, the oh, market okay. plans. Yeah. Where does it? What's the plan? And maybe we get behind uh, a, a, an artist and say, yeah, you know what? We're going to fund this, 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 and this because we believe in this project. Anyways, we're working out the criteria on that, and uh, that will be announced. <laughs> Into the, there, there's one thing about uh, much facts, as much as it's done for everybody, but um, one of the experiences that I've had, I wish there was a way to really exploit, you know, say, decisive record at radio launches. For whatever reason, it just goes. And it's running and it's running, but with our system, he's he got to still put it in, it's going to take ten million, and then you got a week, and, then, and by the time he actually gets through the whole process to get that video, and this isn't everybody's situation, but I just wish there was a situation with some you know, special Batman button, you know what I'm saying, for that guy who's, it's happening, like you're saying, it's going and he needs his video now, 
And if there's a, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, that's, that's part of this marketing plan. I was just going to say, that's actually a good point because, it, it, sorry to interrupt, but it, the idea of what you're saying is act, absolutely relevant, but the reality is if you have a marketing plan that has some chronology to it, right, you, you won't be surprised by your own career. Quite frankly, it'll reduce that. That situation will happen, and it will always happen. But the reality is, you'll reduce the probability of surprising yourself and us if you have a solid marketing plan. And I just want to clarify one thing that David said when he said, "Who's your manager?" It doesn't mean you have to have a manager that everybody knows. It means you have management, and the, again, your marketing plan will reflect whether or not you have a manager because the manager is intrinsically involved in your marketing plan. So if you see a great marketing plan and your, and your manager's name is John Doe, we know John Doe's got his shit together because you have a great marketing plan. So it's not about having you know Chris, Chris Smith or whoever it is uh, on, your, on your submission. It's about the idea of it's a business. Right? And no disrespect to any talent in this country or anywhere on the planet, but the talent is easy to find. But the business is way harder to find. It's true. Right? And it's a, the business of music. It's true. So, can I ask this? Right, you do this six <clears throat> times a year. You have the jury, you have deadlines six times a year. And Maybe you more frequently, given uh, Director X's suggestion. Suggestion, yes. Yeah, good suggestion. I just, I maybe good. just like good to suggestion. Pipe in. I, I just want to, maybe like the. The talent is not always easy to find, I do have to say. And, you know, just on the flip side, and yeah, it is really important to have a business plan and all these things, you know, I've been played in different bands and had different routes along the way. But I think there's also something to be said about just, you're a band that works really hard and you've got a great song and you've got a great video idea. And I think things can also go that way too, although, you know, obviously, yeah, having proper marketing plan, but sometimes not having a plan, even though that sounds like, what's he talking about? Sometimes not having a plan kind of works, but don't yeah, take, take that in like the right way. Yeah, like I mean, obviously there's exceptions to every rule, no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but yeah. take that like the very, like, but, you know, the right but, way. But if, just to, not, not to create a debate or anything, but if you do a survey in the music industry globally, <laughs> and you compare the amount of managers to artists, Guess which one vastly outweighs the other, right? I mean, you know, so it's really important. The business is essential. It's like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. No disrespect to you. No, point. very true. But yeah. I think, I think to sum what I, up all of this stuff is that um, we want to know that you guys are working hard for what you do because once it comes to us, all the directors, producers, all the people behind Lunchback, we're going to work hard for you. So whether you have a marketing plan, a manager, we need to know that you're working hard for what you want to do. And it's not just about having one good song or two good songs. It's like, what else as a musician do you have to do to get your career moving? It's like, just having a video and just having a good song is not enough. You have to have direction and a plan and goals. And those are the types of things I think this board wants to see. Um, yeah, success. maybe uh, the ownership of a van so you can go out and play some shows if that's your, if that's your vibe. You know. We're, we're trying we're to find detailed uh, in the uh, marketing plan. Yeah, that would be in the marketing plan. So David, this is what I wanted to ask to the, this is what I want to ask to the people who look at the application. You do this six times a year. You have actual deadlines. What is it that people are up against? Are you currently overwhelmed with applications, and you see a lot of poor applications that you just dismiss right away? You know what I mean? What are these people up against in terms of each deadline? Uh, well, be honest. Uh, quantity, um, tonnage. Um, I mean, there's some minimum criteria you've got to get through and stuff. You know, the rejection, the application will be rejected if it's not complete. Um, and after that, it's just cutting through. It's just like what stands up when we're sitting there listening to 200, 300 songs. What, what stands? Is there some kind of strategy though to applying at a certain time, knowing who else might have a record coming out at a certain time, who might uh, who you might be up against in terms of applying? Because you see artists, you see more established artists like Vice or City in Color getting much fact, and I'm just, from yeah, the I, perspective I think, of these younger artists out here, what is I don't think you can gain that. No. Uh, and I think it's besides that, it's not like no, movies, no. it's not like movies, you know, scheduling opening weekends on mm -hmm. Memorial Day and Labor Day and strategizing, we're going to come out ahead of the Star Wars or after, whatever. It's, there's so many applications, I don't think you can try and guess when Feist or whoever is putting it in. And, 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 right on, it in and I think the decisive answer to that question earlier, 10 years of consistently applying. And when he says 10 years, he doesn't mean once a year, by the way. He, he, no, you average, honestly, you average how many times per year would you apply? Every time. 
Every single time. Okay? We meet six times a year. So he's got 60 <laughs> rejections, and he's still smiling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With great respect to him. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, if I say to you guys right now, do you think the size of believes in his career? Everybody answer all together. Yes. One, two, three. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Right? So that's half the battle right there. You have to have some stick to 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 stay in this game, especially in a country like Canada. We're, we're juxtaposition with the biggest marking machine in the history of mankind, like an hour and a half drive away. Right to the south, so you have to, we have to work harder. And one of the things Jake and congratulations to Jake or wherever he is, he was inducted into the Manager's Hall of Fame. One of the things he told me is when you take a Canadian act to Europe, the promoters over there love them because of the hard work that they've done touring across this vast barren land, right? And then when they have to go from town to town to town to town in Europe, right, they don't complain, right? So honestly, it's about hard work, as you said, Gavin, and it's about sticking to it, like Decisive said in his statement. And, and you know, it, it's it's really all about that. I'll just, I'll just add to that. It's just, you know, the, this, this strategy is basically what we've been saying. It's hard work and, like, just dedicating yourself to the proper material going in. You know, you, you, you can sit there and you can apply with every song that you've made, but guess what? You're probably going to have two songs within that catalog that are actually worth playing on the radio because not every song you're going to create is going to be amazing. So, you know, and that, and that goes to, to us, too, when it comes to the directors. Like, you know, we, we hear a lot of the stuff that you guys don't even hear on the board. Right. And, it's, and, and then it's, you know, I hear directors saying to me, oh, you know, this, this bullshit, like, I've been putting in grants for, like, you know, three times, like, they hate me. Like, they don't even know you. They don't even know you, and they don't hate you, they hate the material that you're putting in because you're not being honest with the artist and saying, no, this isn't good enough. This and you went on the cover of Now magazine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know? If was from the audience, probably 